สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to be my guest and you're with me สดชื่อลิมเกรียงไก In today's episode we will be looking at a form of a tourism that is becoming a hit in the past few years What type of tourism may that be? Well let's find out with our guest today In today's episode, we are joined by Dr. s i r o t h o n g c h u a lecturer of agricultural of science and entrepreneurship, faculty of agriculture and life science at Jan g a s e m r a c h a p a t University. สวัสดีค่ะ Thank you for joining us today. So, first of all, can you explain to us what is community-based tourism? Right. Uh, Community-based uh, community tourism is one kind of the uh, sustainable tourism mm. that uh, make a crossly uh, between the tourists and the community. I see. Yeah, something like uh, when you travel some for some way in Thailand. So. Mm. Normally, you travel and just spend your time and spend your money. But the the community-based tourism, you can learn about the the community what 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 activities community does, mm. rural uh, people what they do for each day, something like that, oh, and also make the the money for local people mm. and make poor people get more money for living yes. and care about the. Uh, environments and mm. also the social uh, activities. I see. I see. As it would give you a different experience from right. you know staying in a hotel, I guess, right. like just going to tourist spots and right. stuff like that. So, can you tell us how community-based tourism started? Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, actually, this uh, this type of tourism uh, started in 1990, mm. and many many countries around the world, especially in Uh, developing country use the this type of tourism because this tourism care very care about social enterprise and also uh, the communities. Uh, the we uh, normal tur tourism is very care on the money, yes. something like don't care the environments and mm. social activities. Mm. But uh, this kind of uh, tourist. Uh, care, very care about social and mm. environment, yes. so they did not destroy the local mm. activities, something mm. like farming, organic mm. farming, and mm. also the uh, occupation, something oh, yeah. like they they don't need to destroy uh, some lifestyle that yeah, they. True. They live there, so they don't have to adopt to something new. They can just live the way they are, and people right. can just visit them right. and then experience them that right. way. Tourists can learn about what Definitely. they do, what they, uh, what the activities they do every day, something like that. And I think it's better too because in that way you learn about the culture, right. the way of life, right. and you see things like firsthand of what they actually do right. each day. Right. It's more exciting in a right. way. Right, and then well. they can uh, the tourists can consume the fresh, uh, like a products from mm. farmers, something like when you go, uh, when you visit the. Uh, all shards, mm. something like a pomelo. You can mm. have a fresh pomelo, not not the pomelo in the market mm. that we don't know uh, where it comes from, they come from, or yes. if they have pesticides right. or anything like that. Right. And, so and which is great. Yes, because and the, the tourists can ask any question that mm. uh, how to plant, and you, the tourists can communicate with the farmers and grow or the community something like uh, mm. tourists can. Uh, learned about the culture mm. that they didn't yeah. learn before. Of course, of course, because if you go to a department store, you wouldn't get the same feeling right. as going to talk to a local and learn something new. Right. Maybe about you know their day way of life or their religion right. or yeah. their belief. Well, yeah, it gets more like more experience that yeah, way. Yes, so and you sometimes you will find. Some belief that you mm. didn't know before. Exactly. Yeah, some some herbs that mm. you didn't know before. Something yeah. like that. Sounds very interesting. Right. And it's quite surprising that it has been like started for nearly like 27 years already. Right. But did it started to become popular recently in Thailand, or it has always been popular? Yes, as now it's very popular in Thailand and mm. around the world mm. because uh, many people work together. For example, like academic people, mm. students, and also the community, and also uh, the tourists. So they need to know each other what the activity or what the duty of 
there of them because mm. tourists do, do not destroy the, the uh, environment yes. and the local people also don't uh, add the, the price of the product mm. something like that mm. and uh, something like academic section we need to, uh, we have to research do research mm. and promote the, the, the places that uh, can can be the uh, uh, community based mm. tourism I see so there's many factors to take into consideration before you decide this place is suitable for community based right. tourism right. so that brings us to the question that why is Samut Songkram suitable for a community based yes, tourism? In, yes, you know Ampoa and mm. everyone knows Ampoa for a thing market. Mm. And the the problem is that when Ampoa is very famous mm. and popular, they uh, Ampoa receive the prize from uh, UNESCO. Mm. And then the problem is that uh, too many people or too many tourists come there and sometimes they don't know uh, how Other to do places as yes well, right? and also they don't know how to uh, manage the yeah. tourism place yes so the community based tourism come to uh, arrange and manage mm -hmm. all of us to uh, work together something like uh, we need to show another places that mm -hmm. make farmers get benefit from the tourists and you can uh, you will you listen about uh, the problem on the boats mm. that too many boats uh, on the canal yeah. the problem is like a, a, the soil erosion on mm. the canal mm. and then then change to uh, to be the the boat that the human row mm. themselves that to uh, to live together with uh, environment mm. and local people and also tourists mm. around Ampua and see. also another places like uh, the regional uh, places mm. and also historical places mm. also. Yeah, I see. Because I don't think like if everyone's just hovering around Ampoa, then right. like people around that area miss the chance to right. you know, earn income when there's actually there. Right. And I don't think the tourists would enjoy as much if it's so crowded every time they yeah, go. Yes, it, sometimes it's too crowded. Exactly. Some accident happened. Oh, really? Yes, because some people, some tourists uh, take off to the canal because too many people mm. walk around there. Yeah. There's some problem, but that's okay because they, they feel like a, it's a natural. Yeah, I see. So, so when did this, you know, the community-based tourism start to pay, play a role in Ampawa? Right. When, when did yeah, it start? Actually, to? it started 2008, mm, the first okay. thing, because uh, Ampawa Floating Market is not, was not the, it's not the same before. It's mm. changed already, mm. but it changed in a new, uh, new position I for see. tourism. I see. And moreover, the Ampawa Shai Patana Nurak is the project of the royal, I and see. they come to uh, together and manage mm. with farmers, local farmers and local gardeners to work together and uh, sell products with the project, something I like see, that. I see, I see. Well, now we take a quick break here and when right. we come back, we'll talk more. Right. Welcome back to the program. So we already talked about what community-based tourism is right. and we are focusing in Samut Songkram province. Right. So can you take us to a little tour of what the routes are of, you know, if you go to like Samut Songkram right, and for sure. a tour there? Yes, uh, actually uh, when I, do, I did research and I found that there are, there are three dimensions of the community-based tourism in Samut Songkram I province. See. The first is the dimension of the community and agricultural. The second is the religion and belief dimension mm. and the third one is the historical dimension. Mm. So I will um, show you uh, some one day trip sure. for world tour for sure. Samut Kram province. Yeah, so we can start from Bangkok. Okay. So yeah, we will drive for uh, two hours or so one and a half hours. So it's around one and a half, two yes. hours distance from Bangkok. Yes. So it's not that far. Yes, it's very it's short, but yes. sometimes it, the traffic is very jammed because, you know, mm. So Samut Sungkram is very famous so now. So we need to leave early. Yes, yeah, for okay. sure. Yes, after when when you arrive, Samut Sungkram, we will uh, see. We will visit the Talat Maklong, the Maklong, 
uh, markets. markets. Yes, you you can know the talat romhub. You know, and like many many, many people. The yes, the name of romhub is when the train is mm. coming. The uh, the the sailor uh, crossing. Like the stalls, they run yes, away. Run yeah. away. I've uh, heard of it. Yes, it's very famous for Chinese people and also Thai people. But there are only eight times for uh, the train. Oh, okay. So you have there. to time. Yes, yeah, so you need to check well what time they come, something like that. I see. Yes, and right next we will uh, see the coconut plantation. Mm. Yes, we can see how to make the coconut palm sugar, mm. uh, starting from the farmers climb up the trees and. Uh, get the juice for mm. making a sugar, mm. and you know, uh, Thai desserts. Many of many kind of Thai desserts made from uh, coconut palm yes. sugar. Yes, yes, because it smells good mm. and is very sweet mm. and good. It's much better than uh, white sugar yeah, from a uh, sugar cane. I see. So you'll get to have fresh juice, right. and you'll also have yummy desserts right. as well. Yes, but, but don't need too much because it makes you <laughs> get thing fat. Yeah, for okay. sure. <laughs> and then yeah. after we finish at the, the coconut palm sugar, we will visit at Wat Pumarin Gudi mm. Tong. Mm. That the Gudi Tong is mean the golden uh, the golden hermitage. Mm. This this place is made from the uh, mother of uh, the Queen King Brahma one. So it's a very, you know, old temple. Yes, yeah, it's a very old temple and very, very famous for tourists mm -hmm. around Why there. Why so? Because, uh, you know, uh, she, the, uh, the queens of King Ramaman, uh, they, she pay a lot of money for uh, continue the Buddha, the Buddhists mm -hmm. in around Sumusongkram. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of something like this, this, this temple is her family temple. I see, I see. So it has a history to it that it's like you the continuation of Buddhism right. and Samut Songkra. Right. I see. Yes, and then after that we uh, take a boat mm. around uh, to see the the farm the farmers lifestyle mm. between the canal and also the houses, very mm. old houses from wood, mm. something that we can, uh, you cannot see Anyway, of course, yes. I see. So you take a boat along the canal, right. and then you look at the houses. Yes, yeah. And can we stop by and just you know drop by, say yeah, hi? Some, you can. Yeah, some houses sell some their products some, okay. uh, from. What can you uh, expect to find? What do they sell? Uh, normally coconut, pomelo, and also lychee. Mm. If uh, the weather is good for mm. enough I for see. lychee. So yummy fruits. Yes, very yummy. I see. I see. Uh, Right. So what's our next destination? Next step, uh, we will go to Ban Bang Plab. Uh, this place is very famous about agricultural activities, mm. something like doing uh, organic pomelo farm. Mm. And you can know how to make the uh, fertilizer. You can uh, how to make the manure so yourself, and you can make the waste from your kitchen. Mm to make the manure for your plants, I something see. like that. I and see. you can, and this, in this place, you can eat lunch. You, ha you, have, you have lunch by local materials and the local so people. So what kind of dish will you get to have here? Something like curry, because mm -hmm. you know, uh, there are plenty of coconut yeah. around there. So yeah. in Sumusong Kham, the, the food is plenty of curry. Curry-based coconut. Yes. Yeah, I right. see, I see. Something okay. like green curry. Sounds yummy. Yes. Okay, and then what's our next destination? Yes, and next after we finish uh, eating, so now uh, we go to the Pamelo Oshars mm. again and again, because uh, sometimes around there, they grow in different way. How is it different? Something like, uh, some, some technique like uh, they put salt, mm, salt, salt yeah, and make it sweeter. Really? Yeah, someone mm. uh, put uh, something like MSG mm. for make it sweeter. Mm, I see. I never knew about salt, though. That's that's a new yeah, it's, information. Yes, it's make a plant like a uh, stress, mm. so the plants need to uh, make the fruits, and sugar is uh, the uh, the kind of food for their fruits, so they make. 
So out Switcher. of curiosity, nothing to do with this. Does that only go for pomelo, or you can do it for other trees as other well? Other as well. Oh, okay. So right. if you want to so a sweet fruit, you just add salt. Yes. Okay. But some but some plants, not all of plants, because mm -hmm. some plants make it die. Oh, okay. So right. you have to be careful. Yeah, be careful. Okay. And okay. next, uh, the ne next we will, uh, see the history mm. of. Uh, so we go to Kai Bang Gung. Mm. It's very popular because this place is Pajau Tak Sin, have the wind in the war here. I see. Yes, I see. and so also. A historical site in a way. Right, so you can see the, the place that they do kill. A war, war area. Uh, I would say, you know, right? something like that. I see. And we f we will finish at Ampoa Chai Patna Nurak. Mm -hmm. It's very near from uh, floating markets mm. to see uh, the combination about agricultural uh, activities and uh, the urban activity is around there. I see. I see. And the last thing you can shop, being everywhere, everything you want at. The floating markets mm. and food, local food, and also seafood. I see. Yes. Sounds like a fun-filled day and right. lots of activities. Yes, many activities. I see. Sounds great. So, right now we take a quick break here, and when right. we come back, we'll talk more. Welcome back to the program. So now we've entered our last break here. So right. we already talked about your research of Samut Songkram province for community-based tourism. Right. So if someone is interested to, to you know, actually go there and experience you know, the itinerary you listed earlier, right. where can they find more information about it or can they contact you personally to ask for more details? Right. Actually, I, I did a fan page for tourists in uh, Songkram province, mm. the page name Songkram Tamana. So if the tourists or people want to know how, uh, how to go to Songkram or the places you want to go or the road trip for mm. the, uh, the community-based tourism, mm. you can uh, follow and like that page I and see. also inbox or ask any question, any uh, what you want to know about me con directly. I see. So that would be very useful. Yes. Indeed, and very convenient. Right. Because That's many, one, everyone now use Facebook like a. Exactly. So, so has been there a lot of many people at the moment like contacted you about you know this itinerary or ask for help or details. Yeah, some uh, some people come to ask about a one day trip already oh. and what. Uh, something like where uh, they want to go, uh, where they uh, have to go for mm. some Song Kram province, something mm. like that. And also, I will plan to uh, make a road trip for free for free mm. tourists if they want to interested in tour in some Song Kram province. Sounds amazing. Like, is it normally like foreigners, or it's more like local ties who wants to visit? A Actually, no. Uh, we we plan to be a local mm. people type people mm. but at the next program or next research I plan to do like a agricultural tourism in uh, six provinces for foreigners mm. like uh, doing for to find activities or um, what the activity for foreigners that interesting in tourism in Thailand. I see, I see. What are these six provinces you're, you're looking into? Uh, so Songkram is one of them okay. and Kanchanaburi, mm. Supanburi, um, Pechaburi, Pachuk Kirikan and I'm not sure. It's okay. So it's okay, basically sorry. it's around the, the it's central area basically. Right, and right. Close proximity to Bangkok right, actually. Right. I see that's great. So so when do you think that re research would come along and would be finally up for people to you know? Yes, I will look? yes, I will start it uh, next year, early of next year mm. and it could be finished maybe end of next year. Okay. And if it's uh, work this route it could be for very, very, um, very interested for the foreigners that yeah. interested in uh, community-based tourism. I see, I see. So we already talked about, you know, the the trip. What you would have to do for a one-day trip. Right. So people might be wondering, how much does it cost for you know, an, on average, to go on a trip like this? Right. Uh, on average, for one-day trip, they could pay only no more than one thousand baht. 
uh, thousand in, baht. Yes, including transportation and food, no shopping okay. included. Okay. Because uh, the Sum Sum is not so far from Bangkok, no transportation is not too high. Mm. And also food is, is very cheap because mm. local people made it and sell themselves. So I think one dish is like 40 baht or 50 baht. Yes, yeah, something around like that. that. Yes, around that. It's not more, uh, much more like that. Mm. It's not more expensive than in Bangkok. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That something would like be that. strange. Yes. <laughs> I see. So basically, if you want to go for a one-day trip right. without staying overnight, right. round trip basically, go back and come back, right. is not more than 1,000. Right. Well, that's a very, very good price, actually. Right. And you get to do many things at the same time. Yes, you can know the, the community, the activities of comedy you never seen before, mm. or you can see on the television, but not touch yourself. So mm. you will feel like what they do, and you will feel it yourself. Mm. See. It's very interesting. So, so you mentioned earlier that you did a research before, you know, coming out with these plans and everything. So, out of curiosity, what are you know the factors that you have to take into consideration, you know, in doing this research? Sorry. Like the things you have to you think about or like oh, prepare right. for this research for one province. Suppose someone so crap. Yes. How did you have to prepare yourself? Uh, actually, uh, it's not hard, it's difficult too much because uh, my hometown is in Sung Song Kram. Ah, okay. So uh, I know enough about the places that mm. where is the community base or where is the commercial base. So you have like a, a knowledge base right. a little bit already because you grew up there basically. Right. I see. So what about the other provinces? What are the things you are looking for? Yes, and another very interesting is Rashaburi and Kanchanaburi. Mm. If you know uh, this province, uh, the farmer, there are many, many farmers and mm. gardeners around there. Mm. So, and also the cultural history. Mm. So they have many uh, interesting things and uh, information yeah. to learn, something like that. And a lot of history. To yes. be honest, like Gantanaburi, like right. there is many things you could do there actually. Right. Apart from you know the tourist. Spots yes, and so uh, farming. Mm. Yes, agricultural farming, organic farming also. I think people don't quite know about that. When they think of Gantanaburi, they think of you know the bridge right. or, or you know tourist spots, but yes. they don't actually think of farming, growing plants, or anything yeah, like, something that. like that. But it's quite a lot, right, over there? Right, yes. We, there are many, many uh, plantations of cantaloupe, mm. melon, oh, really? and also vegetables, many vegetables made from Ganjanaburi and okay. sent it to Bangkok. Okay, I didn't know that, actually, that they grew melon in, right. in Ganjanaburi. I knew that it's in like Khao Yai or no, something. No, because the weather in Ganjanaburi is very good. Mm -hmm. It's very low compared in Bangkok, something like that. I I see, I see. What about the other provinces? Any highlights? Like, you know, give and us some brief highlights. Uh, about Maybe in Subhanburi, Subhanburi is, yes. there, is there any place that yes, you Yes, you know, really there is farmer school, mm. for a uh, rice farmer school, and also the uh, buffalo school mm. to teach the buffalo how to uh, work in the farm. Sounds fun. Right. And do yes. you get to participate? Like if yes. you go there, you actually get to, you know. Yes, you need to buffalo. prepare yourself about the clothes because you need to go uh, to do with the buffaloes mm. and to learn how to control them, mm. something like that. that sounds, I think foreigners would actually love this because right. they would never get to, you know, actually do this with a buffalo in their hometown. Right. Also hometown. Thai people. Exactly. Right. I think Thai people would find it fun. Is it expensive, like trips like this? No, I think uh, it's no more a 2000 for a one day trip mm. because it's also not so far from uh, Bangkok, but mm. the transportation is maybe some difficulties because no uh, no bus or no van. So you need a that. private, right. a hire a private yes, driver. Hire, right. I see. So it sounds very interesting indeed. And I'm sure that community-based tourism is slowly becoming more popular. And right. with your research, hopefully like it would create more awareness to the locals as well as well as foreigners. Thank you very much. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Thank right. you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Community-based tourism, which is often described as traveling like a local, has been going on in Thailand for decades.
but is still not as well known as it should be. Community-based tourism seeks to uplift local communities by providing them with a sustainable way to support themselves with providing a rich cultural experience for travellers. Samut Songkram community-based tourism is another great example of how this form of tourism works and make a difference. And that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. See you again next time. สวัสดีค่ะ